What's up, guys? Jay? More than ever kill? And I'm back here on Destiny! Live! In the tower! And, and you can see I'm actually... I'm, I'm relaxing a little bit. It's the weekend. I'm chilling. There's a new DLC coming this Tuesday. And I figured, you know what? You guys have been asking me to go through my Hunter character, show you the gear that I use up to this point to the Dark Below DLC coming out. And I figured, you know what? It's time. Let's go ahead and just, you know... Why don't I just go ahead and uh, stretch out? <laughs> Get it. The old Rick James bitch. <laughs> Fuck your couch. <laughs> Buy another one, you rich motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at my level 29 hunter up until this point. So basically, most of the gear doesn't really matter. I'm actually rocking Vanguard boots. I'm rocking a Queen Guard's vest. And I'm also rocking the Order's Grip. Now, the reason I'm rocking these is because they all have intellect on them. And I really do like having intellect uh, with the cooldown on the Golden Gun. Because I use it fairly often. I figure as soon as I get my Golden Gun, I might as well just use it. Because it recharges so quick. I might as well have a little bit of intelligence on stock. And uh, I'm also using the Aculophage Symbiote. Which is an exotic helmet that gives me an extra shot on my golden gun, and it also gives me an ass ton of discipline. Cause up until that point, I was I was totally racking into discipline. <laughs> the, the only thing I really don't have here is uh, strength, because it reduces the cooldown time of your throwing knife. And a lot of the times, I find myself just looking up and away and throwing my knife away, so I can do some melee. And I know a lot of people watch my videos are like, "You suck with the throwing knife," because I do that. But you guys don't know that I actually do that on purpose. So when I'm you know knifing up close and personal with the enemy, sometimes having that throwing knife is just a little bit uh, inconvenient, so I just, I like to throw it away before rushing into battle. Sometimes I like to use it, but I, I, I usually kind of save that for uh, wizard's shields, because I, I use the fire throwing knife, and well, let's go ahead and take a look at my gunslinger class, because I don't really show this very often, but uh, I use the first incendiary grenade. Now, I used to use the trip mine grenade, but I've also explained in my video with Jure the other day that I, I had too many times that, you know, legions of cabals that I'd throw it on their shield and they would blow up, but uh, an unintended side effect is most of the enemy's AI is programmed to, to run at you when you stick them with a trip mine grenade. So, I, I like to use these because when you throw them down next to an enemy, a lot of enemies cower from it. They flinch, so I like to throw that down. This... I, I kind of find useless. I don't really like the uh, swarm drone grenades. It's not really my style. I see to do some real good work in PvP for blocking off doorways and shit. But other than that, I'd probably just stick with this incendiary grenade. Not only that, but this also is really awesome against like wizards and things with uh, red damage shields. So uh, also, I use. Uh, higher jump. Now, I know a lot of people really disagree with me about this. They they like the triple jump, and the reason I like to use higher jump is not only does it, you know, upgrade my double jump for greater height, but I feel like when I'm using my regular jump, that I jump just a little bit higher than I do when I'm using the other uh, options for the jump uh, controls. So I, I like to use higher jump. I feel like I got more precision with it too. The, the triple jump, I kind of feel like every time I use it, I just spam jump twice. And I'm, I'm just trying to get that height that I'm looking for with higher jump. So I like to stick along with that. But uh, moving on with the golden gun. I like to use combustion because, you know, when enemies group up together and you pow, click a pow them right in the face with that golden gun, they blow up and it causes quite a bit of damage to surrounding enemies. So this is actually really good. Uh, gunfighter, I'm not really that big on it because I have a ton of intelligence on my build. So I, I don't really need the cooldown of my golden gun as much as I need to see enemies nearby exploded, especially like if I hit a wizard and there's like another wizard or two next to him, that combustion will cause that wizard's shield to go down because they have that red fire shield and I, I, I really fucking hate wizards, like a lot of my build is really just centered around keeping wizards away from my face. They put their balls in my face. <laughs> so let's go ahead, take a look at what I use with the throwing knife is the incendiary blade. Like I said, because I find myself throwing my knife away a lot, but when I need it to take down a wizard's shield, pow! 
Pow! Right there. Because wizards are pretty easy to hit with the throw knife, actually, too. Because they're really big, long, wide targets. So if you can't hit a wizard with a throw knife, you need to practice that shit a little bit, San. <laughs> uh, I don't really like knife juggler because, like I said, uh, you know, precision kills with a throw and knife, I don't really get very often. So I, I usually like to keep this around just for the elemental effect on stripping shields. So moving on into what I'm focused on for the training. We have uh, down here Path of the Unknown, training focused on battle recovery and toughness. Now, when I was uh, leveling up, I used to go for toughness and speed. But I, I switched to this whole uh, setup when I was doing the Zyor the Unwed Thorn, and I, I just, I felt like the survivability felt a little bit better. That way, you know, I, I could take a little bit more extra damage before I'm getting my ass whooped by Fogoth and all the other minions that, oh my god, it's just, it's terrible doing that strike to get that Thorn, because it, it, it's like, it's like a Nightfall strike times, like, 55 wizards <laughs> it's just it's so annoying i really do hate that so moving on i'm also specced into gunslinger's trance now i actually used to be specced into keyhole which over penetrates uh multiple targets with a golden gun but i found that once i switched to combustion i didn't really need that extra penetration and then now that i use a lot of scout rifles and high accuracy weapons like the icebreaker uh having pre precision kills uh increase your weapon stability is absolutely amazing especially when i'm using that uh scout rifle that blows people up when i hit precision kills this thing just absolutely decimates and I i'll probably say that out of this three right here gunslinger's trance without a doubt like there's all good options throughout here but this right here no 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 comparison to gunslinger's trance and how invaluable that this skill could work for you because trust me it, you, you don't think so but it gives you that little bit of extra accuracy to hit them critical hits and in this game man especially in like the raids and hard mode and all the heroic and nightfall strikes critical hits you don't want to be doing anything else but critical hits. The only time you really should be going for a body shot is if you have, like, a heavy weapon and you're just trying to spam a wall of bullets to get shit away from you. Really, honestly. So, we're going to go ahead and move on. I have Way of the Drifter, trade and focused on all attributes. I mean, I, I, I could go either way, but like I said, since I've already kind of went with the middle of the path road here, I decided to just get all my uh, stats up kind of like right in the middle i'm i'm, I'm like the mario <laughs> i'm like the mario of uh hunters because you know you can have either you know agility or armor or you can all you know just move with the recovery i i i'll just kind of kind of be like right up right up in there let's see what my stats would be like yeah see i don't eh, it's all right that's kind of cool but i i kind of feel like yeah i'd rather just have bonuses and everything is it all-around well-rounded build now for the last one we have chain of woe over the horizon and gambler's dagger now this you get an extra throwing knife and if you're the type of person that uses knife juggler and you get a lot of precision kills you could do some real fucked up damage with the throwing knife but like i said I, i'm not really into using the knife as like an offensive portion i just like to use it to strip shields on enemies with uh fire damage so uh, i use over the horizon it increases the range of the golden gun because if you watched any of my gameplay i do a lot of sniping and distance shooting against enemies so when i'm sitting back sniping kicking a little bit of ass it helps to have my golden guns range reach as far as i need it to be even though my icebreaker does more damage than my golden gun it's uh it's nice just to have that little extra boost of uh, range so you can hit far ass enemies away from you and uh chain of woe is actually really good but i was kind of lucky that most of my weapons reload pretty fast and the icebreaker doesn't even need to reload it regenerates uh you know <laughs> it regenerates ammo so I, I don't really need the reload speed as much as i would need like the precision kill uh st stability stack over here even though i gotta tell you i used to use this back in the uh earlier days and you can reload shit really fast so if you got a gun that that's like really super beast but has a horrible reload time and you didn't get lucky with any perks on it to help increase your reload speed yeah i, I would go with chain of woe but just because i like to sit back and snipe i'm going with over the horizon so that, that that's what i like to use on my hunter subclass build i know you guys are like show your blade dancer build well uh, uh, okay <laughs> I, I know I could level this up by doing bounties. I just, 
I, I, I blade danced a couple times, and I was just like, eh, this is not for me, I guess. I mean, do you, do you really want to be running into fucking hard mode or nightfall strikes where you can only live once and start jumping in a pile of enemies, fucking blade dancing and doing your ballerina spins and knife and shit? Now, I know once you get it fully leveled up, it can be pretty fucking awesome. But uh, I'm, I'm not patient enough to get it up there and sit there. I, I just, I like aiming. I like shooting. I like my pow, click a pow. <laughs> so my, my blade dancer kind of kind of gets, I guess, ignored. It's a shame, too, because it's such an awesome looking class, too, with that arc damage and all that ballerina spins. They, they took their time putting their effort to making it look cool, but I just... I give zero fucks. So let's go ahead and take a look at the main weapons that I use since, you know, I, I didn't really do any weapon guides and, you know, the weapons are getting uh, an, an increase. So what, once the Dark Below DLC comes out and I start getting new weapons with the higher damages and shit, I think we'll go over a few of them. But just to give you a quick rundown, uh, I have a Sir's Regime and a Last Word. I, I don't really use them too often, but I do like them. They're pretty fun. Uh, I, I like my red hand cannon right here. I have this and a Vendation that I usually use. They're both pretty similar in stats. These are faction hand cannons and this has explosive rounds i like that but a lot of people keep saying oh but you lose some of the damages and you lose critical hit damage and i kind of kind of just dip back and forth between lightweight and uh, explosive rounds i haven't really experienced any real problems with the explosive rounds i i do like the fact that you know in non uh non raid situations this thing staggers the shit out of like every single enemy i come even knights this thing will put a knight down to his knees so the explosive rounds help out just a little bit there uh I, this is my new monarchy scout rifle you'll see that most of my weapons are new monarchy i got Really, really lucky! I, I did not buy any of these with Crucible Marks. I, I got these all from Engrams and uh, New Monarchy packages, which is absolutely amazing. You see, if uh, I take off the Field Scout here, uh, this is 14 in the magazine, but I, I rocked the uh, Perk Field Scout for 27 in a magazine, which is absolutely amazing. We got Firefly. This is this is the perk that I was telling you that made me switch to a Gunslinger's Trance right here. Precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode. Now, it, it causes it to do quite a bit of damage, too. I mean, they... Ooh, they blow up good. <laughs> and then I also have Return to Sender, which kills with this weapon, grants bonus ammo directly to the magazine. So not only does it help me keep firing like crazy fast all over the place, but I also make shit explode at the same time. So it's actually one of the one of the craziest weapons I've seen in this game. I, I got really lucky to get both these perks on here and to see Field Scout on a uh, Scout Rifle is just crazy continuous damage and I, I love it <laughs> it's, like, it's almost no 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 purpose of using a hand cannon over top this when you take a look at that magazine and the stats are actually a lot better on this scout rifle than this uh, hand cannon so I I think this is probably one of the luckiest finds I've seen inside the game for myself anyway you might have something that's maybe a little bit better but I, I feel like for a non raid weapon this is probably about as good as it gets right here. Uh, for my, my middle weapon, I always keep an icebreaker on. The only reason I had that is to turn it into some bounties. Uh, this is my fusion rifle. It's a new monarchy once again. Nothing real real special about it it's, except the fact that... Uh, where is it at? I can, I can have a ex crazy ass range. <laughs> this thing shoots far as hell. and the, uh, the beams actually don't have as big of a spread as a normal fusion rifle. So that's one of the cool things about the purifier. But I don't, I don't really like to use fusion rifles too often. I feel like they're overused and probably should get a nerf sometime in the game. But this is my bitch right here. This is my bottom bitch. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> this is the money maker right here. This, is, this gun is like usually on my character 90% of the time. If you don't have an icebreaker, the next time Jure sells this thing, I don't care what you have to do. Play until you have enough strange coins. Dude, Tiger Strikes, Box Farming, everything. Try to get as many Engrams as you can. Because, oh my god. This weapon is... It, it's, it changed the game for me. This, this, this weapon, I, I don't even know how I would even be playing this game 
without a strong secondary like this. This is just, it's, I, I can't recommend it enough. Look at it. Check this out. This causes solar damage. It regenerates ammo over time. You can't reload it and you can't pick up ammo when you have it on, but it regenerates ammo. It also, missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine and victims spontaneously combust, dealing damage to others near, nearby. It's a absolutely perfect gun. I, this, this is actually going to be one of the first weapons I upgrade with Jure when uh, that motherfucker's dick-faced asshole... <laughs> this is one of my subscribers said, man, oh, he, he was a warlock and he was so happy that he didn't have Void Fang vestments. He's like, oh, sure, I could kiss you, but then I would be sucking your dick face. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to work that in somehow without telling a story, but fuck it. We just, we worked it in with telling a story and it's still absolutely hilarious. So, yeah, that's why I haven't used any exotic shards on this. I'm probably going to buy an exotic shard or two to keep in my inventory. Uh, just in case I need to upgrade a weapon, but I don't feel like I'm gonna have to upgrade any, uh, exotic weapons until the next time Jure comes around anyway. F figure the Dark Below DLC comes out, what, Tuesday? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't have a feeling like we're gonna be resetting any weapons anytime soon before, uh, Jure comes. So, anyway... Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to what I use down here. Normally, I use these, uh, Prestige New Monarchy, uh, LMGs. They're absolutely crazy. Look at this. I got so lucky that not only this one and this one, they're both the same, but they have arc and, uh, solar damage, but both of them spawned with the Field Scout Magazine, uh, perk on there. Now, if you take a look at that, and we'll go over here, take a look at that. Where's that field scout right there? This is an 87 magazine clip. This is ab absolutely crazy. That That is a huge magazine. But when you use field scout with this weapon, oh, it's just, it's insane. I got 150 in the magazine and I can carry 450 ammo in reserve. So that's, that's crazy. And the, the uh, new monarchy uh, prestige that they sell inside the, uh, the store over there, it doesn't have the uh, Field Scout perk on there, so I got lucky that both of my spawns of uh, random prestige drops from Engrams both came with the Field Scout for that 150 magazine size. It's ridiculous. A 450 heavy magazine in a, in a reserve is... <laughs> it's just... I, I don't have any words for how lucky I am that both of mine came with that perk. Uh, this also has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. If you take a look at that, that rate of fire and the stability, you kind of need it. So firing this gun from the hip is just... It, it just wrecks face. <laughs> and we also have... Uh, Kills with this weapon increase reload speed for a short period of time. Nothing really special. I do have my, my Galahorn that a lot of people are going to be like, How the fuck is this not even leveled up yet? So I just... I don't know. I I don't really feel the need to use a Galahorn very often since I, I don't really do a lot of raiding. I've only done the raid twice on normal mode. And I've attempted twice on hard mode so far. And uh, we got stuck at the Templar. And we, we literally had him down to like a cut hair of health. And... Uh, just got fucked up. Everybody, everybody shit to bed. <laughs> so this is what I usually use here is my Admonisher rocket launcher. This uh, has cluster bombs, kind of like the Galahorn, but it's a uh, arc damage and only has one in the magazine. I uh, rock heavy payload just because I like that blast radius, baby. <laughs> now, the, the, the rest of it's not really that special. My heavy weapons aren't really that special, except for the uh, heavy machine guns. But my rocket launchers are just, you know, regular ass rocket launchers that you just find randomly. Nothing nothing really great, nothing really special. I could probably have a truth in my uh, backpack if uh, Bungie actually buff that like the week when I'm fucking available <laughs> they, they upped it to three shells in the tube and I really really want it now but I I, I can't have it because it, it's not for sale that's budget <laughs> so that's pretty much my hunter that's what that's what I'm rocking I'm rocking 70% intellect 82% discipline and I have absolutely no strength I'm a I'm a weakling when it comes to my melee ability but no big deal. No big deal. I, I makes do. And the only reason I don't get rid of my Queen's Guard vest is because I, I leveled this son of a bitch fully up with shards before they nerfed that shit. And now they don't give any shards. So if I get rid of this, 
I'm not getting dog shit for it. I'm just, it's just gonna be like, oh, you died. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. More than I have to kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, really comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers. Now watch my motherfucking videos and for all you guys that ask what the radiant light modifier is, this is what you get for doing a nightfall strike. You get extra XP for the rest of the week. That's why my face is glowing, motherfucker. But, uh, yeah. I got some other things to do on this couch. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. We're the day after kill. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.